I am Manuel Bruto. I am a scientific collaborator in the laboratory of uh, Professor Robbie Lewis. And I'm working here for now five years uh, on building yeast and the uh, regulation of torquine. So for the many few years, uh, many uh, uh, publications have found that this regulation of cell metabolism is uh, linked to several pathologies, including uh, metabolic syndromes, neurodegenerations, or tumor genesis. For instance, uh, it's known that uh, cancer cells are increasing their intake and their metabolism of glucose to support their fast growth. It's known that one of the major regulators uh, of the metabolism and the growth in, uh, in cells is a protein complex called TORC1, which stands for target of rabamycin complex 1. And it has been shown actually that TORC1 in many uh, pathologies is upregulated, including uh, cancer cells. And so therefore we had this question to uh, see uh, if the glucose may have an effect on TORC1 regulation and we wanted to understand how glucose may regulate TORC1. So uh, we used the uh, um, cell biology model, which is the yeast occurrence as and we could find out actually that when we remove glucose from the media, uh, in the cell, the TORC1 is assembling into a single inactive structure. We went for collaboration with the group of Sullivan and Monley in the EPFL, and thanks to uh, super resolution microscopy, we could find out that this uh, structure is actually a holotube. We went more in the resolution by doing purification of this object and by cryo-EM microscopy we can find out actually that TORC1 is able to form a gigantic uh, helix, uh, helix in the cell, which is the biggest uh, known up to date. And this helix, uh, which we call toroid for TORC1 organized in inhibited domains, um, is uh, there to both regulate by inhibition TORC1 and also to store it in one uh, for, uh, structure. So it's very likely looking at the structure that uh, humans have the same process uh, and therefore we want to uh, perform a screen of molecules to find the one that may um, stimulate the formation of the steroid or destroy the steroid to finally uh, control the activity of TORC1 but this is in a future project.